Today I'm going to show you how to add watermarks to a video like this. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unique Converter and there are a handful of cases where it's really good to add a watermark to a video. The most common reason to do so is to protect your content by adding your logo to your video. A watermark on a video will make it more difficult for others to steal your content and a logo as a watermark on your video will also make your content more personal. In other cases you might just want to add the date to the video in the form of a text or the location so you never forget when it was shot or where it was shot. Or very important, if you are an editor, like me sometimes, you might just want to send a watermark version of the video to your client before they release payment. That's basically how they send around movies within the film industry to producers or, or others to see it before it's released. Because by having a working copy watermark on the movie, um, it will make it impossible to be stolen. Okay, now let's see how it's actually done. First of all, open up the Uniconverter and navigate your cursor on the left side panel and click on the toolbox here. Here select the watermark editor. Now automatically the watermark editor is on the remove watermark function, so click right over here on the add watermark button. Drag your file or files from your media browser or click right over here and select it from your folder. Now there are a couple of functions that we need to talk about here. First of all, you can add the watermark in the form of an image. Now note that the best if the image is a PNG or, or an image file with a transparent background. So click right over here and select your image file. Now you can position this wherever you want. You can size it, make it smaller, make it bigger make it look squeezed like this or like that and just place it wherever you want by dragging it around over the video or you can use the dynamic watermark function now what it does I'll show you what it does is that the image will bounce around within the frame of the video like that now you might want to ask Dom, why is this good for us? Well, let me tell you why. First of all, it looks pretty funny. And more importantly, it will make it a lot more difficult for others to remove it from the video. Now you can also change the transparency. You can make it almost entirely transparent. You obviously don't want it to be 100% uh, transparent because then you're, you're not adding a watermark to the video. Or you can just make it not transparent at all and just have the image as itself over the video. Now you can also add text to your video. If you'd like to use a dynamic watermark function uh, as a text then you can only add one text or you can customize the position of your text and add multiple texts up to three pieces. Now with this one I'm going to go with the dynamic watermark and an image and when I'm done with that I will just click on the add watermark button right here but if I'd like to I could add multiple videos to the add watermark tool and batch render watermarked videos but for now I'm just gonna go with this one. So that's it, very simple, right? Now, if you click right over here, in this video we'll show you how to remove a watermark from a video. Um, so if you'd like to learn how to do that, then click right over here. Now, with the Unique Converter, you can also convert a video, compress a video, edit a video, or use a bunch of AI features which are just awesome. But that was the video for today guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope it was helpful. And if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you never miss a new upload on this channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching again and I'm going to see you in the next video.